This training video covers AutoX programming for Toyota, Lexus, and Scion vehicles with keyed ignitions. We will be using a 2015 Toyota 4Runner for our demonstration. Okay, first we're going to plug into the OBD port, which is typically located under the dash on the driver's side of the vehicle. The AutoX tool will start up. We'll accept the disclaimer and choose Key Program. We'll then flip through our programming guide to the section for Toyota Lexus Scion Key. The beginning of this section first gives you a couple of notes of things you need to be aware of. For these vehicles, they typically accept a maximum of five master keys and three valet keys. If you tried to add more than these maximums, the key will fail to program. If you are programming an integrated head key, which is one where there are buttons built into the head of the key to lock and unlock the doors, these remote buttons are not programmed at the same time as the key. You'll have to follow the remote programming instructions on the following page to get those buttons to work. The next section is the actual programming guide. This is not a set of step-by-step -step instructions for programming a key. Instead, it is a set of hints that will help you know how to program the key when following the step-by-step -step instructions on the tool. You need to read these in advance and understand what they're saying before you start the programming sequence. When first presented with some options, you're going to select Key. When instructed to turn the ignition on, you're going to insert the customer's original key into the ignition and turn it to the on position without starting the vehicle. When presented with a list of available functions, you're going to select Add Key. Make sure you continue to use the customer's original key until specifically instructed to insert the new key. When instructed to insert the key and turn the ignition off, just insert the key, but leave the ignition off without turning it at all. Then continue to follow the on-screen prompts until the key has been programmed. Okay, so let's get started. First we scroll down to Toyota, by vehicle, Forerunner, 2015. We're going to do key. Alright, turn the ignition on. We're going to insert the customer's original key. Turn to the on position without starting. Hit OK. We're going to select Add Key. Now we're instructed to remove the key, insert the key, and turn the ignition on. For all of this, you continue to use the customer's original key. We select OK. Then we're instructed to turn the ignition off and remove the key. So we take the key out. Press OK. Now we're instructed to insert the new key and turn the ignition off. What this really means is insert the new key but leave the ignition off. We press OK and then after a one minute wait we get the successfully programmed notice. So the key programming is done and now we're going to program the remote. So we're going to flip to the next page, which has our remote programming instructions. Just like before, we first have some general notes of things you need to be aware of. If the AutoX tool has a remote option for this vehicle, then we're going to use the AutoX tool to program the remote. If there's no remote option on the tool, 
then we're going to use the instructions below to onboard program the remote. Be sure to read and understand the instructions in advance as some of the steps are timed. For these vehicles, the current remotes will not need to be programmed to the vehicle during the programming process, just the new remotes. When you have your new remote and ready to go, we suggest you fasten your seatbelt to make sure there's no additional chiming going on during the programming process. For this vehicle, we are going to use the remote function on the AutoX tool to program the remote. So we're going to close all the doors and remove the key from the ignition. We're going to select the remote function on the tool. You can see this is a case where there's two system types. We're going to try the first type to begin with and see if that works. We're going to turn the ignition on. Hit OK. And you can see we got a connection error. Since the first system type failed, we're now going to try remote system 2. We're going to turn the ignition on. Press OK. And you can see it connected. We're going to press program remote. For the next step, we want the driver's door open and the doors unlocked. So we're going to press the unlock button on the door and open it. Hit OK. Now we're instructed to press the lock and unlock button on the remote for one second and then press the lock button once to program the remote. So first unlock and lock together and then lock. We then press OK on the tool and we get our success notification. That completes all programming steps and we can now unplug the tool. Then it's time to test the new key and remote. We'll close the door and start the vehicle with the new key. Let it run for 5 or 10 seconds. OK, the key's looking good. Let's shut her down and get out and test the remote. Let's press the lock button. And we're locked. And we're unlocked. So everything's working perfectly. Now we're going to repeat the test with the original key and remote and make sure they're still functioning as well.